Howdy folks, welcome to Post to Post. Welcome to the weekend. My name is Neil. That means Jersey Concepts on this channel. And this time we've got one that I'm gonna be critical of even before we look at them. I haven't seen them, it's gonna be a reaction video. But this is called the Typography Series by Zambonium. If you're familiar with me or the channel or the previous Post to Post channel, you probably know that I do not like wordmark style logos. I prefer like a graphical style logo, whether that's a symbol like a star or maybe a creature like a tiger or something like that. If I wanna want like a typography wordmark style logo, I'll buy a t-shirt. I don't want that stuff on a jersey. No, nope, don't mind it on the, on the shoulder patch, you know, that's, that's no big deal. But on the front, I wanna see an actual proper logo. I don't think I'm right, okay? There's no, there is no right or wrong, all right? I just, this personal preference, right? So I'm gonna be a little bit critical as we go through here, but I love the fact that Zambonium submitted these because it allows me to step outside my comfort zone a little bit and not only be critical, but maybe find some things I like about some type typography logos or some wordmark logos. So I accept the challenge. I appreciate him sending these in, him or her rather, and uh, let's get into it. These are by uh, alphabetic order. As far as abbreviation, every single time someone comments and says, Washington's before, or Winnipeg's before Washington, or whatever it is, and I said, no, this is by abbreviation, so just, I can't say it enough, it's by abbreviation, Anaheim's first, let's go, all right, okay, so <laughs> I just harped a little bit on, on wordmark logos, this isn't that bad, first impressions, because of the backing element there, now, Anaheim is one of those teams that has used a wordmark logo in the past, but this is kind of a combination of, of two things, a graphical element, which is the backing of their original logo, and then a new kind of stylized version of some text. It's not that bad, uh, as the jersey is entirely, as far as colorization, striping, pretty decent. Um, I know nothing really critical there. I was expecting worse. <laughs> I'll definitely say that I, I actually don't mind this at all. I don't know if I like it, but I don't dislike it. So off to a good start, maybe. Let's move on to the next one. That's going to be, wow, Arizona. Wordmark logo aside, look at the bottom of the jersey. That is quite interesting. I don't know if that would work because it's so... I mean, the Kachina pattern is very, is very repetitive. But you almost don't notice it because it's so intricate. Whereas this, you just you notice the repetitiveness of that texture, that uh, stylization, stylization of the stripe at the bottom. We'll leave that alone. And, you know, Let me know what you think about that down below in the comment section. But the logo itself... I actually love the logo, but not on a jersey. If I'm buying a t-shirt, like, sign me up, okay? That would look so good on a t-shirt. I love, I love that logo. It's the, the amount of intricacies and different stylization uh, on the A, the R, the I, the Z, or Z, depending on what country you're from, the O, the N, and the A, they all have something. So I like those little but those little tiny elements uh, a bit on there. That's that's great, but on a t-shirt, not on a jersey. To me, that logo looks out of place on this t-shirt. On this, That logo looks out of place on this jersey. That's what I'm trying to say. Boston. All right, so this wasn't isn't actually too bad either. As far as the jersey goes, a miss for me just because it's yellow as the primary, but a good combination between the text of Boston and then the backing of their actual logo, sans the B. I would give this like five out of 10. Like that's not a great score, but anything lower than five out of 10 means I, I dislike it. I don't dislike this. Move on to Buffalo. Okay, now Buffalo is actually one of those teams who has used a wordmark style logo in the past. Is this better than that? I think the jersey's better. I think the logo's better as well, actually. I don't mind this one. It has some graphical elements with the uh, actual sabers on there. Not bad, actually. I like the little slant as well. The B is a completely different font than the rest of it, which is usually a bit of a no-no, but for some reason it just kind of fits here. It's even the same, or different, like italicized, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Angle, basically. Striping is good. Um, everything else is good. This is probably my favorite so far. Maybe because I'm already exposed to Buffalo using a wordmark from their history, so it's not that foreign to me. This one's my favorite so far. Let's move on. Carolina. Okay, well, here's another team uh, that is, you know, we're familiar with. They've got Canes on their away jersey coming down, so I'm familiar with that. Carolina looks awkward on there. Um, it's, there's so many teams that are doing this now. Pittsburgh and the Rangers, which have been doing it forever, and Carolina. And I'm sure there'll be another team who, who's, who, who does this. And uh, Colorado, that's the other team I was trying to think of. Colorado does this, did this in the Reebok years, I believe it was. It just, I'm never going to prefer this, ever. I just think it looks awkward. It just, 
I know some people love it. Like, that's why I said at the beginning. There is really is no right or wrong. I don't think I'm right. It just all comes down to personal preference, and I would prefer to see their actual logo on there versus that. But I know people who would look at this and, and just truly love it. Columbus. Okay, not bad because of the rest of the graphics kind of around it. I don't mind this at all. Obviously, this is kind of the Canon uh, alternate jersey that they've got going on here with a swapped logo, essentially. The logo that you see on the shoulder patch is the one that is typically in the middle, and uh, Zambonium has put a new logo in the middle here. It, it really doesn't look that bad, actually. It looks, it looks pretty decent. It looks like it belongs. I'll definitely say that. I don't love it, but it looks like it belongs. Next. Okay, Calgary. So Calgary is another one of those teams that does have a bit of a wordmark logo from not in their recent history, but I think if we, when you go when you go way back, I think in their history to get that wordmark logo. And this isn't it, but it is a, a very beautiful modern version of the word Calgary because of the, the the amount of flames on the C and the amount of flames, or I guess a little a little fleck of flame on the end of the Y, the loop of the Y. So I think because they're, it's not just generic font, because you've almost given it personality and a little persona here with the uh, aggression, I guess, in the flames and the C and the Y, and then even in the G as well, it kind of becomes something else other than just letters. So this transcends a little bit for me, uh, maybe beyond a wordmark logo. I think this works. I would actually, I would endorse this being on the front of a jersey because of the way that it's stylized. So this is my favorite so far, actually. I like this one. I do not like this one. <laughs> Chicago immediate uh, pass for me. This is going to be a no no. I get the you know I get the different color stripes and stuff. It's it's part of their brand from the feathers in the back of the original logo, the head or whatever. But it, those lines just look very out of place for me. Even the the font Chicago, and having that drastic of a drop shadow or stroke or stylization uh, coming off of it. That's kind of that's New York's thing. You know what I mean? So. I would um, I would avoid that. You know, New York uses that on their numbers and the um, and the C and whatnot. So I would I would avoid that on any other team just because I kind of think that's their thing. But yeah, this one this one's gonna be a miss for me. Sorry about that. Okay, Colo Rado. Don't like that. <laughs> Splitting up the name is uh, is a definite no no for me. I like the jersey a lot actually. Like let's just set the logo aside for a second. That's a beautiful jersey. I like that just tremendously. I'm. I fully endorse the jersey, but that logo is 100% a miss. Splitting up the word, Colo. When I look at it, when I look at it, I don't even say Colo. I say Colo, like Colorado, Colorado. It just doesn't work. I just it needs to be together, right? It's Colorado. All right, what we got next? Dallas. Okay, so Dallas has used a wordmark logo in the past. Is this jersey better? I think it is because it's using a bit of. I don't want to say this, a modern design, which isn't modern. It's actually a throwback retro. Man, I got something in my eye, which is a throwback retro to the 90s, late 90s. So I I think this kind of ticks all the boxes, if you will. It respects the past. It respects the history. It, it modernizes it a little bit, but it also is another callback to maybe a midpoint in history when they use that text logo on the front. I don't like it, but it's okay. I think it's. I think it would definitely work for Dallas. They're probably one of the teams that can pull it off. Um, so I'll give this one a check mark, but definitely not my favorite. All right, moving on. We got the Detroit Red Wings, and immediately this is acceptable if you know their history. So the Detroit Red Wings, I believe for a, I would say relatively short stint of their history, were the Detroit Cougars, and I believe during that time they used a jersey that looked quite f uh, similar to this. Not identical, but similar. And I think because of that, you know, if the Red Wings were going to do like a Winter Classic or some kind of like retro callback kind of jersey... Um, it would it would be definitely be acceptable. I believe the Detroit Red Wings did an, a 75th anniversary jersey back in 1992 that looked very similar to this. So I would um, I would think it's very acceptable for Detroit to do this. And it's an original six team. You know, teams that are that old kind of get away with using a bit of a wordmark logo or text on the front of a jersey because it just goes back to a, a more simple time. So this one looks okay to me. I don't love it, but it definitely looks okay. And I would actually love if uh, Detroit came up with this jersey, um, just from a brand perspective. So yeah, I, I approve this one. Edmonton, ah, nope. <laughs> and for one reason and one reason only, uh, I guess two reasons. Now the Edmonton font there is to used to mimic the Oilers font in, the, in their primary logo, as you can see up on the shoulder there. But it just looks very awkward and not just that, but it's pooping. So it looks like it looks like the word Edmonton is taking a poop of that little that oil nugget there. So 
it looks very out of place for me. So this one's gonna be a pass. We got Florida next. All right, so kind of the reverse retro jersey meets something. It meets something. I don't know. It, it almost looks like it looks like a welcome to Florida sign. And uh, Florida gets a lot of tourists and stuff. Uh, luckily, I've been to Florida multiple times. Love the state. And when I, I just envision this, like I could see that uh, beside a gas station. I could see it entering the state near a Disney park, just kind of like the Florida. Welcome to Florida. Welcome to wherever. So it it fits. It really does fit with Florida but I don't think it fits on a jersey. So I would say negative to the jersey, uh, don't like it. Next is the Los Angeles Kings, and that font specifically uh, works for Los Angeles. I think there's a lot of art and like culture and stuff in Los Angeles. Um, graffiti as well. There's lots of graffiti in Los Angeles. And when I look at that text, I see kind of like a, a tattoo or graffiti or something like really creative. And that does make me think of Los Angeles. So I think that f although it's different than their current brand and stuff, I think it fits in there uh, pretty nicely, actually. So while this is wordmark forward, I don't feel like it's completely out of place. I give it like a five or a six out of 10. Next is Minnesota. Okay. You know, the first thing I thought of wasn't Minnesota. It wasn't the wild. It wasn't the United States. It was the USSR because I think they used like a red star or something in maybe some of their hockey teams or just their generic whatever logos, propaganda, whatever. I don't know. Uh, so I just think USSR here. And again, we got the we got, we got it split. If that's together, now we're talking. Maybe not the red star, but the, I like the you know the the little end there, the right side of the end. That's cool. But keep it all together. Right now it's Minnesota, and I don't. I don't like that. <laughs> uh, okay, we've done it again. Montreal, the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, this doesn't work for the exact same, literally the exact same reason. And I know someone out there is going to look at this and think, yeah, that's actually pretty cool. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Um, you should be able to, like, how boring would it be? I say this all the time. How boring would it be if we all like the same thing, right? So I like the fact that Zambonium is doing this because it's thinking outside the box, taking a bit of risk. You he or she maybe is creating some of these and, and thinking, you know what, maybe a lot of people wouldn't like these, but I'm going to do it anyway because it's a good it's a good thought exercise. And it is a good thought ex exercise because teams seem to be obsessed with this stuff recently. We've got the Smashville jersey. We've got the Pittsburgh Reverse Retro jersey, the Pittsburgh Alternate jersey, this Washington Capitals jersey, which you know goes back in their history a little bit, but still. So I like the fact that he did it, even though I don't like the jersey. I'm not, I don't know sure if that makes sense or translates well, but Montreal is... Uh, is a no-go. <laughs> New Joyzy. That looks like a it looks like a pizza place logo. It it's not bad. I, I actually this is probably one of my favorites of all of them, going back to the original colors from 1982-ish. Uh it looks okay, actually. You know what? This looks not bad at all. I would um I would be okay with this as a jersey. It's I don't know, it's very retro, but it's very like new kind of at the same time. Not my favorite so far, but it is nice. Nashville. All right, so Nashville can kind of get away with it as well, only because they did it recently with the Smashville jersey, that, that uh, stadium series. This one is, actually, they did it with the Winter Classic as well, didn't they? This is not too bad. Um, I I don't love it. Again, it's just one of those, I think I like the rest of the jersey. If you put like their actual logo in the front, that's a that's a wicked jersey. But right now, yeah, I, I like the stylization of the font. Like the actual font itself is has a lot of persona to it. It's very Nashville, which is great but on a t-shirt, not on a jersey. Next is the New York Islanders, which is very strange because we're used to seeing font like this, not maybe not like this, but you know, New York font or Rangers font on the front of a jersey for the Rangers, not the Islanders. So, but actually the Islanders did use a jersey, if I'm not mistaken, that did say Islanders on it back in the Reebok years. I think it was orange, maybe. I can't remember, maybe it's not. Uh, anyways, this looks out of place for me. This one's gonna be a pass. I do like the striping though. The striping's pretty cool, but overall, Looks like an Edmonton jersey a little bit. Next is the Rangers. So although it says New York instead of Rangers, and it's a little bit bigger than, uh, than we're used to, it doesn't feel awkward at all. This looks totally normal for the most part. And uh, I wouldn't hate it. You know, if they come out with this, it kind of looks like the, uh, what was it, Winter Classic jersey that they have. That's actually it's right behind me against Buffalo in the original Adidas year. And yeah, it's okay. I, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with this for sure. Ottawa Senators. So uh, we've got a graphic and a word here, and it doesn't look that bad, actually, if I'm being completely honest. It really doesn't look that bad. It's not for me. It's not my favorite, but 
yeah, maybe a six out of ten, kind of in that range. Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Again, a split word, immediate miss for me, just from the previous comments. I don't want to drag you through the gutter again here with another conversation that's being repeated, but I don't like the split up word, and that really what it comes that's really what it comes down to. Pittsburgh, oh, with a big a Pittsburgh with a big S. This doesn't look that foreign because Pittsburgh has done it so much currently and in the past. So yeah, and again, it's not for me, but I like the um I like the decision here behind the stylization of the word Pittsburgh. I think Zambodia made a really good decision here, uh, whether he created it, he or she created it, or someone else did. Um, I do think that that looks good, maybe individually. Seattle. All right. Um, this one's probably going to be a miss. I don't love the red line that's in there. For whatever reason, that red line's kind of throwing me off a little bit. The Seattle font is okay. Just kind of an average jersey for me. Wow, San Jose with the super stylized font, kind of that graffiti style text again. It, I'm missing the orange a little bit. I think if we had some orange in the sleeves, maybe some orange in the bottom of the jersey. It's just very, it's very gray and white and black kind of at the bottom. It gets away from their vibrant colors. I think there's a lot of potential here for kind of a stylized version of a logo like this, but it has so much personality. Like look at the personality in the in the font, the specific font chosen. The, the colorization coming off of it with the black and then the or, the orange highlight and the shoulder patch as well. The neck, it's all very like modern and like kind of in your face, but then the rest of the jersey at the bottom, it's white and it's black and it's gray. It's a little, it's the, kind of the opposite. It's got no personality. So if I'm gonna see a, a logo like this that kind of goes hard, I kind of want to see the rest of the jersey go hard as well. So as is now, maybe a six or a seven out of 10, but I, I do, I do actually like the logo in the front. Okay, St. Louis, St. Louis, wow. I like. I actually love all of the cream color or white. It looks cream on my monitor, but the bottom of the sleeve, like the, the the bottom of the jersey and the bottom of the sleeve. That's my favorite part of the jersey, and also the striping coming up. We're used to that. The logo's fine. I think that decision to make that what it is, whatever you call it, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not that musical. <laughs> Didn't know the names of that stuff, it, or the names of the note or whatever that is. I don't know. Uh, it makes sense, but it's not for me. I would not like to see them do this. Um, but I like the rest of the jersey. The jersey's pretty cool. Okay, Tampa Bay. Well, they did the bolts in the stadium series, and they did this general design in the stadium series. So putting Tampa Bay on there is not that uh, out of place. So although I don't love this, it's expected almost. Like I can, I can kind of see them doing something like this in the future. So this one's not bad at all. Toronto splitting the maple leaf. I think that is against the law actually in Canada to split a maple leaf like that. Um, I, um, I'm going to say no to that, actually. I love the fact that Zambonian went to the kind of classic 90s style logo, because as you guys know, that's my favorite of the Toronto uh, brand history. But I don't love the fact that it just completely splits the um, sp splits the maple leaf in half. I don't mind the font chosen. That's okay. But yeah, this one's going to be probably a miss. Vancouver. So we got a split. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it's going to be a miss for me again. The rest of the jersey is totally fine. I even like how the font is done with just using two colors, but like the, the red is almost the drop shadow of the text. And it's like kind of in a different orientation for, for each letter, actually. That looks cool. I like to see a jersey, or not a jersey. <laughs> Jeez, it's, been, it's hot in here and it's been a long day. I like to see this on a t-shirt. That to me is the perfect thing to throw in a t-shirt, but not on a jersey. Next is Vegas. This doesn't look too bad, actually. Um, not not very out of place here. The V looks cool and the A looks cool. That's basically the same thing, just inverted. So uh, yeah, I mean, I think it works, actually. I have no super complaints about this. It doesn't look out of place. This one's probably one of the better ones we've seen so far. Winnipeg. Hmm. You know, they've got that Jets one that you guys know that I don't like, that alternate. And I will admit that it does look better in person but this isn't better than that jersey. I think that Jets alternate jersey that I don't like is still better than this. This doesn't look bad. It's just that I know there's something better. So this is inferior. Moving on to the Washington Capitals. Very retro look here, extremely retro look actually. I don't know how you'd replicate that on a jersey if you were physically producing that. I don't know if that would be a sublimation print in behind or if the whole thing would be a sublimation print. Uh, I don't know, but it, I don't think it works. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, I mean, I'm wearing a jersey that kind of uses a version of it. So, I mean, I guess it does work, but 
just having Washington on there. I'd I prefer to say Capitals, I think, but what's my favorite? Um, whew, give me a minute. All right, I'm gonna go with the um, I'm gonna go with the Detroit Red Wings for all the reasons I said earlier. It's part of their history in the Cougars kind of era. Uh, it's a version of the 1992 75th anniversary jersey that they've used in the past. Their original six team. I can totally use and see them using a text style logo. And it actually doesn't look that bad. So it kind of ticks all the boxes. I'd actually give this jersey maybe like an eight, eight and a half out of 10 actually overall. Um, I think it would fit in with their brand nicely. Now the Red Wings don't typically use shoulder patches. They've only used shoulder patches and I believe one year, one or two years in their history. So I don't know if we'd see that shoulder patch on there if they were to create this jersey, but it doesn't look that bad on there. So yeah, let me know your thoughts, uh, ladies and gents, down below in the comment section. I read all the comments. Uh, so let me know your favorite. Let me know your least favorite. I'm sure Zamb Zambonian would like to see your comments as well. Make sure your feedback is constructive. It's not rude. Constructive criticism is always preferred. You can say something negative without being mean about it. I always try and say that. Uh, to everyone just trying to be kind even if you are saying something negative constructive criticism is always better than just telling someone that you hate something and that they suck and uh actually you know what as before this video started i thought that a lot of these were gonna suck just because i don't like like i said at the beginning i don't like textual word marks word mark style logos i don't know if any of them sucked like i'd have to go back through but i don't think there's actually anyone that i truly despise or hate i think my least favorite was probably the chicago one but even that isn't that bad. So I'm actually kind of impressed at the work that Zambonium did here because not that he's made me a believer out of word style or word mark and uh, textual style logos, but he's kind of opened my eyes up for some possibilities for some teams like the Anaheim one was pretty cool. And uh, I think, what was the other one, New Jersey? Yeah, the, that, that New Jersey one was pretty cool. So yeah, I mean, good job Zambonium. I like, uh, you, you put me kind of thinking outside the box as well here, so I appreciate that. I appreciate you stepping outside the box, and just taking a risk. I always appreciate that in people's designs. If you want to come up with your own designs, link is down below in the description on how to do that. If you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button. That helps the channel a lot. Guys, have a great weekend. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Every Friday we do this. Have a great weekend. Talk to you later. Adios.